In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create six rectangular options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have added a grid and fill for the background and when I click uh, oval shape or the rectangle or circular comes uh, with the headline and you can add the detailed text and when I click the first option comes where I have added the title, the detailed text and the icon and then the second option comes the third option comes and again from the bottom it will come the three more options you can see here this is the fifth option and this is the sixth option i have created two slides with one uh, a dark background and another one uh, with a lighter color so depending on your requirement you can choose the slide and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university and you can join the telegram link the link has been provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used 2019 for this tutorial so let's start the powerpoint tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangle select the rectangle draw the rectangle from the top corner from the left side you can see here maybe this much size or depending on your requirement how much you want to increase or decrease and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to add two two more so i'm just going to add one here and the other one i'm just going to add at the last and i'm going to select all these three by holding the shift key and go to align make sure that it is distributed horizontally okay then go to insert shapes i'm going to select us one more rectangle and i'm going to add a rectangle here maybe this much size then go to view enable the guides and make sure that it is in the center then i'm going to connect this uh, rectangles with this so again i'm going to add one more rectangle for this you can see here which i'm going to bring it till down let me just give some different color shape outline make it no outline so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut this part okay so for that go to insert shapes select the right triangle i'm going to draw a triangle shape outline make it no outline and you can give some different color again and then go to rotate you can see here you've got a variety of options i can just say flip horizontal again i can just say flip vertical so you end up getting a shape something like this and then make sure that it is properly aligned otherwise what happens when you cut it or subtract it this will some lines will appear there so you have to make sure it is aligned properly i'm going to duplicate this go to rotate you can see here again i can just say flip horizontal and again flip vertical and put the other side all right and then just drag this one till this part okay something like this then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this shape hold the shift key select the this right triangle merge shape and just subtract and again hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract so you end up getting a shape something like this now let me add the same thing here go to insert shapes select the rectangle again draw the rectangle again this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape will give some different color and then just send this to back so that this is visible again i'm going to use the right triangles to cut it let me just give some other color so that you'll not get confused so again go to insert shapes select the right triangle draw the right triangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some dark colors again duplicate i'm just going to flip horizontal and then just add it here so i'm going to select this the bigger rectangle then hold the shift key select the right triangle merge shape subtract so what happened here you can see here i have not aligned properly that's the reason this kind of lines will come so let me just undo this one and make sure that it is properly aligned all right then again i'm going to select this hold the shift key select this one format merge shape i can subtract and again select this i can subtract and then i don't need to add it here i can just simply select this copy this duplicate 
control D to duplicate and then just flip horizontal then you need to attach it all right so just make sure that it is properly aligned and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all these three press control G to group it control D to duplicate it bring it down and I'm just going to make it flip vertical and then just put it here and select both of these ungroup it then I'm just going to delete this part let me just remove the guides so you end up getting a shape something like this the design like this now it's time to give some different color combinations as per your requirement so before adding the colors to this uh, if you want you can keep the background as white or you can give some dark color background also let me just go to right mouse click uh, format background i'll just select gradient fill and i've used two stops one is light gray and the black one so you can see here it looks something like this now i'm just going to select each one now depending on your requirement you can go to more colors and choose whichever color maybe you need uh, red and here also i'm going to choose the same red color but i'm going to increase the shade for this so again go to more colors and customs just increase it so you can see here you can see the difference again select this one again depending on your requirement maybe i'm going to choose something this color again i'm going to choose the same color here increase the shade all right so likewise you need to select each different color combination according to your requirement maybe i'm going to choose uh, a kind of a blue you can see here and again i'm going to choose the same blue color and increase the shade go to more colors customs and increase it so now let's choose some different color combinations here maybe i can choose uh, this color and then the same color i'm going to choose and increase the shade then for this i can choose maybe this color combination and for this also the same color then increase the shade and then the last one more colors maybe i can choose some different color let me just select this color and here again i'm going to choose the same color and increase the shade so you end up getting uh, something like this and then make sure that this is properly aligned let me just move it top all right now i'm going to add one circle here in the middle go to insert shapes select the oval shape hold the shift key so that you get the perfect oval shape and put it exactly in the center shape outline you can make it no outline shape fill you can make it white and then you can give some shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to choose one in the center the dark color and the second stop i'm going to use the eyedropper and i'm going to use the color which i've used here you can see here and then make it 100% transparent this also you can make somewhat transparent then go to the effects under soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then just send this to back so you got the shadow effect also now our design is ready it's time to add the text or the icons so first of all i'm going to add some headlines here go to insert text box and i'm going to say your headline century gothic any font you can uh, just give according to your requirement make it black make it bold put it in the center increase the size if you want and you want add some detailed text also then i'm going to add some icons go to insert icons and remember these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint like 2019 and office 365 so i'm just going to randomly select six icons let me just move this aside and 
the color graphics fill i'm going to give as white and the height and width i'm going to make as 0.7 and then i'm just going to add one by one icon on each option or the rectangular shape you can see here so let me just add one by one all right now go to insert text box you can add your title here again white font century gothic if you want you can make it bold reduce the size and then you can add the detailed text here you can see here something like this select both of these press ctrl g to group it and then press ctrl d to duplicate and add on each rectangle and make sure that it is properly aligned if it is not aligned later also we can just align it so again i'm just going to add one by one so you can see here sorry so you can see here our design is ready and if you want to give some small animation effect you can give the animation effect to this so let me just show you some small animation effect so i'm just going to select both of this and group it okay and close the format shape let me just go to the animations enable the animation pane and for this i'm going to make it maybe basic zoom go to uh, entrance effect and just select basic zoom you can see here it comes something like this and then for this shadow effect i'm going to give it fade and this should happen after previous so when i play it comes something like this all right then i'm going to select this again for this also it's better to group all right so i can just group it one by one you can see here just group sorry control g to group it all right now i'm just going to select this and i'm going to add the animation maybe fly in fly in should come from top see something like this and then this one i'm going to give a wipe effect wipe effect i can give maybe from left all right and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this all right or if you want you can give from the top also all right so now i'm going to select the animation painter click on this and this one we can see here and i'm going to select for the third option and again it comes something like this and then i'm just going to select the bottom part and bottom part it should come from the bottom something like this and then the animation effect instead of the top it should come from bottom all right so let me just select this and again this sorry i have to select the other part all right and then the last one so let me just play the animation now you can see here the first comes see this is a simple animation and you can see there's some lines uh, you know some gap is there so that you can fill the gap also by just moving this up and down something like this let me just move it up and this is down all right so this is the slide design for you